Corey Weeds, alto saxophonist, founder of Seller Live. No, I don't think I would have made the choice to do an album of earth, wind, and fire music. When Michael Don was in town in 2015, helping me celebrate the release of Condition Blue, the music of Jackie McLean, I had asked Mike about what he had sort of in the pipeline. And he said he'd been talking to the great bassist Bob Cranshaw about doing the music of Earth, Wind & Fire. I thought it was a great idea and had said that I would be interested in putting that out on my label to which Mike was very open to. As it turns out, Bob of course got sick and uh, passed away relatively quickly, so that project was never realized. And in talking with Mike, he suggested that we do that as our third sort of repertoire project. We had done Up A Step, the music of Hank Mobley, Condition Blue, the music of Jackie McLean. So this was quite a departure, but I thought it was a good departure and I thought it would be a lot of fun. I think that it probably means a lot to Mike because it was something that was going to be done with Bob and Mike and Bob were very close. The expectation might have been that I would have gone and checked out all of the tunes that we were going to do, Getaway and The Way of the World and Kalimba Story and Let's Groove. I didn't check any of Earth, Wind & Fire's music out before we did this date. I didn't really want it to color how I would interpret the music on the recording. It's quite a departure from the original recordings. You know, there's a lot of stuff to interpret in there and there was a lot of work on the part of Mike to take the earth, wind and fire music. You know, there's melodies and horn shots and background vocals and string patches and, and all of those types of things that Mike had to sort of interpret and make into a, like a tangible jazz tune. So for the listener, it's fantastic. They get to hear some very familiar songs. And for a, a jazz musician such as myself, to me, they're, they're almost just like jazz tunes. I mean, Mike has really made them into jazz tunes, and that's the way I think of them. Playing this music is out of my comfort zone. Because I'm not familiar with the music, and playing with Mike Ladon is always comfortable, but also uncomfortable in a very good way. Mike's musical mind moves so fast, and you have to be on your toes at all times when you're playing with him. If you saw us from the first rehearsal until the recording date, things were still changing, and in fact, things might still change even though we made the record. Um, so you constantly have to be on your feet. With all the people that I've played with, nobody really drives me to play quite like Mike Ladon. It's a very driving force. And it's a very intense driving energy that he brings to the music that really resonates with me and forces me to reach, I think, much deeper than I usually do. And when you do that, it's uncomfortable. I was really excited to put this specific band together, you know, for this project. 
Steve Gallistad on tenor saxophone is a dear friend of mine, um, somebody that I've learned a lot from about the saxophone, and being able to play with him and share the front line with him sort of drives me to play better and be better and dig deeper as well. Jason Tiemann, who I recorded with on It's Easy to Remember, has become a good friend. Dave Sekula brings so much more to any project he does than just guitar because he's an engineer himself and a producer. And so I really wanted his ears there and just to have an extra voice there. I've always been the kind of person that likes to surround himself with people that are better than him. I thrive in that environment. So I don't want to be the best musician on any of my record days. When you surround yourself with people of that caliber, you play better, you know, you look better. Everything about you is better. It helps your confidence. Everything you do is better. But, I mean, the main part is that you play better. Also, to put yourself in that situation, you have to make yourself vulnerable. And I think when you're vulnerable, that's when the best music is made.